Yeah, you have a handout in front of you on defensive transition, and we'll be covering that a little bit as we go through film. Uh, been a big week with some tests, maybe, some midterms? Yeah, okay. All right, well, let's switch gears now. Let's leave that. You, you finish those studies. Let's leave it for a little bit and cut loose and have some fun on the floor for a couple of hours, and then we'll go back to that. Um, it gets tough. And the deeper you get into the school year, the more challenging your classes become. Uh, you have to be able to switch gears and focus on uh, what you're doing while you're doing it, which we'll hit in just a little bit. Um, a couple of things from yesterday, a couple of things. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought your focus was good. Um, can't say I was wild about it, um, but I thought it was good. And, and, and you guys know me, I'm not real happy with good. Good is okay, but I would like to be a whole lot better. And one of the ways I think we can be a whole lot better is to start to understand how the breakdown drills affect what really happens in live play. Okay? When you're doing one-on-one -on -one closeouts and you're working on inside foot up and send them to the baseline and dig step, you're doing that. So in the defensive transition drill, if you're back and you've got the hole at the basket and the ball swung to your wing, you sprint out, you close out. Inside foot up, send them to the baseline, dig until you stop them before the lane. And we had, we had slippage between what we did in a drill and what we did when we went live. Now, I know we didn't do a whole lot of live stuff yesterday, and that's because we have so much to teach. But the few times that we do go live, you got to start to transfer that skill that we do in our drill breakdowns into live, live play. And that hinges upon paying attention. That's that thing we talked about yesterday. Where's your focus? What are you thinking about doing? Okay? I think we can do better at that.